Hello and welcome back to Ingvid. This is a video for people learning English, perhaps you're planning a trip coming over to the UK, in particular to London, because we're going to be looking at pronunciation of some quite difficult places in London. But also, this is a video for people who are already quite experienced with speaking English. There are places that I'm going to show the pronunciation of that even my wife gets wrong and she's lived in London for over five years. There are lots of, lots of people in London who slightly mispronounce some of these places. We're going to start with Leicester Square, the epicentre of London. It's the heartbeat. It's where the film premieres happen. Looking at this word, Leicester Square. No, it's pronounced Leicester Square. Maybe it would help if we just forget about these letters here. Leicester. I've got a friend called Leicester. He plays the trumpet. Let's think of Leicester Square. I've written this in black because it's on the northern line. Probably the most grimy, dirtiest of the lines, but it goes from north to south. So if we take um, a couple of stops north on the northern line, we will get to Tottenham Court Road. We can shorten that to Tottenham, Tottenham Court Road, Tottenham Court Road. There's a place up in the north of London called Tottenham. It's where the football team Tottenham Hotspur play their games. My team, though, is Chelsea, which is more in this area of the woods, this neck of the woods. Where do you think Chelsea play? They actually are based in not Fulham, but Fulham. Fulham. So you may have watched my other video on pronunciation of places um, of place names across the UK. We looked at this rule here, ham, you just shorten to um, Fulham. Uh, this is in green because it's on the district line. If we go a little bit further out on the district line, it separates into three parts. You need to make sure you're on the right train, otherwise you'll end up in Wimbledon and you want to be going to Richmond. If you're on the Richmond um, branch of the line, you may come across this place, Chiswick Park. We shorten it to Chiswick. Again, this is a rule I've touched on in my other uh, places in the UK video. Okay, so we've got Tottenham, we've got Leicester, Fulham, Chiswick. Um, a very busy transport hub is Vauxhall. We, we pronounce it Vauxhall, Vauxhall. If you're out for some uh, pretty serious partying, uh, there's some quite interesting clubs in Vauxhall. Right, going up into the affluent northwest of the city, um, Marylebone, but it's actually pronounced Marleybone. Okay, so forget about that Y. Pretend it doesn't exist. Marleybone, Marleybone. Now, going up into the green spaces of Hampstead, it's a wonderful spot to uh, get a panoramic view out over the city in Hampstead Heath. Hampstead. So here, just forget about this A. Don't say Hampstead, it's Hampstead. Again, a very nice part of London. Um, now, just out of the um, sort of very centre, we have Edgware. Edgware. It's Edgware. Edgware Road. Uh, quite a cosmo cosmopolitan part of London. Um, lots of uh, massage, interesting Arabic, Lebanese types of shop. A little bit further out, we have Warwick Avenue. No, it's Warwick. So just forget about that W, Warwick Avenue. Let's head east. Holborn. Okay, so it's in red because it's on the central line. Central line goes across London. And if we alight here, if we get off the tube here, we would be getting off at Hoban. Hoban. So I would tend to forget about that L there, Hoban. Just a, a walk away from there, um, edge of the West End, Aldwych. Now what we want to do here 
is forget about that W, Alditch, Alditch. You've got the lovely Somerset house with its uh, open air, ice skating at winter, and as I said, the, the edge of the West End. So quite a good place to visit. Now this is north of the River Thames. If I go over a bridge, I may have come to Southwark, Southwark. So what I'm doing here is again, I'm missing out that W, Southwark. There's a cathedral there, and it's quite close to the Imperial War Museum. Now, if I wanted to go market shopping and pick up some fine foods, I may want to head to Burruff, Burruff. Do you know how it's pronounced? Borough, Borough Market, one of the best markets in London. Heading a little bit further southeast. Now this is in a different color because I'm not entirely sure what tube line this is on. Maybe you could look it up at home and write on the thread below. Uh, well, Deptford's not on the tube line, Deptford. Deptford. So forget about that P, Deptford. Um, then further east, probably a more likely tourist destination. Greenwich. So we want to shorten the vowel sound there so it becomes Greenwich. And I'm forgetting about the W, Greenwich. Fabulous views again if you climb, climb the hill and you've also got the Cutty Sark there. Um, and there is a marine museum, which is also worth a visit. If I stayed on that central line and headed out into the woods, I would come to this stop on the central line. One, again, I'm shortening that vowel sound and it becomes one stead. Probably a place on everybody's wish list to uh, uh, visit London, Dalston. You need to get the vowel sound right here. It's actually Dalston, Dalston. Hope you picked up a few tips in today's video. Uh, there's some wonderful places to visit in London. We just need to make sure we get the pronunciation right so people understand where exactly you want to go to. Thank you for watching. See you next time.